of humanity's greatest feats is its increasing ability to understand and manipulate matter. Yet as far as we've come from the Stone Age to the Age of Information, we're far from mastering matter in its most fundamental form, the atom. Like toddlers, puppies, and other small things, atoms are uncooperative. Putting atoms where you want them and then seeing where they actually ended up, oh, it's exhausting and very hard. Because of this, I hung up my lab coat in grad school and decided to take an approach to this using computers. <laughs> using existing computational techniques, given an arrangement of atoms, scientists can predict its properties. The question is, how do we find new, useful arrangements of atoms that are worth experimental efforts? Just as written language is not made of all combinations of letters, punctuation, and spaces, atoms do not form random arrangements. They form recurring geometric patterns at many length scales. But the language and the rules of this language that atoms form are very complex and hard to write down. Valid geometries have to satisfy quantum mechanics, and quantum mechanics is a harsh design critic. So I set out to build an algorithm that can learn the language of atoms using a machine learning technique called deep learning. If this program can observe and understand the patterns that we see in experiment, it can learn to combine them in new ways. Deep learning algorithms and the neural networks that they're made of are top performers in translating text and identifying whether an image contains a cat, of course. But existing deep learning techniques don't really understand geometry. If I take for example, your favorite molecule, let's say it's water for simplicity, and we rotate it, you and I know it's the same thing, but to a neural network, it's an entirely different object. So I had to fix this by building a new type of neural network that can identify the same geometric pattern in any orientation or location from seeing one example. This property turns out to be very useful beyond my original purpose of generating new atomic geometries. Turns out, this property makes these networks super able to efficiently emulate expensive physics calculations because these networks obey the same symmetries as physics. Right now, I'm using these networks to compute the quantum mechanical properties of a given arrangement of atoms six orders of magnitude faster than before. In the time of this talk, I could have calculated all the supercomputer calculations that I did in my entire PhD. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I'm building networks to generate new geometries, new atomic geometries, which may help the notorious challenge of making and measuring materials. And it's my hope, with these tools in hand, we're well on our way to becoming masters of atoms. <laughs>